boys and girls. I'm the reading teacher. Today, we're going to read a story where the main character is a little pea. Yeah, you heard me right. Not a little corn, not a little asparagus or a little mushroom, but a little pea. Isn't that silly? So already, are you thinking about this book being fiction or nonfiction? Yeah, it's fiction. This story is totally made up, and it's called Little P. Little P is written by Amy Krauss Rosenthal, and it's illustrated by Jen Carace. Now, something I'd like you to do in this story is, while I'm reading, I want you to think about how you and this main character, who's a P, are similar, or how are you different? Okay, here we go. Little P. Little P. This is the story of Little P, Mama P, and Papa P. And maybe you're already thinking, ooh, it's similar because I am a part of a family too. Little P was a happy little guy. He liked to do a lot of things. He liked rolling down hills, for example, super fast. He liked hanging out with his pea pals. He liked it when Papa P came home at the end of the day. Papa P would fling little P off a spoon high into the air and little P would scream again, again. At bedtime, little P very much liked snuggling with Mama P and hearing stories about what Mama P was like when she was a little P. But there was one thing that little P did not like. Candy! That's what you have to eat for dinner every night when you're a P. Candy, candy, candy. And look at little P's face. He does not like candy. Is that similar or different to you? Monday, red candy. Tuesday, orange candy. Wednesday, yellow candy. Thursday, purple and pink polka dotted candy. Friday, striped candy. Saturday, swirly candy. Sunday, rainbow candy. Little P hated all of it. And when you see a red circle with a line through it like that, that means no. So little P is thinking about these candies and he's thinking, no, I don't want them. If you want to grow up to be a big strong P, you have to eat your candy, Papa P would say. If you don't finish your candy, then you can't have dessert. Mama P would say, how many pieces do I have to eat? Eat five pieces and you can have dessert. Five pieces, he whined. Five pieces, they chimed. One, yuck. Two, ugh. Three, ugh. Four, ugh. Five pieces of candy. Now can I have dessert? Yes, now you can have dessert, said Mama P and Papa P. Little P couldn't wait to see what it was. All right, let's do a little bit of predicting. If Little P has to eat candy for dinner, what do you think is going to be his dessert? I mean, we eat candy as a dessert, so do you think it's going to be the opposite? Is he going to have to eat chicken or fish for his dessert? What do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> Spinach, squealed little P, my favorite. <laughs> Spinach? Little P licked his dessert plate clean. Yum, yum, extra yum. And they lived happily ever after. All right, 
Did you compare yourself with Little P? I bet some things that were similar were how he liked to play with his friends, how he liked to snuggle with his mom or hang out with his dad. I bet something different would be what he likes to eat for dessert and what you like to eat for dessert. I bet that was different. And I bet you love to eat candy, whereas Little P doesn't like to eat candy. I really, really like Little P as a character. And Amy Krause Rosenthal has a bunch more of wonderful books in the library that I think you should check out. Friends, if you liked this story, see if you can find a different one that you might like to hear. I've got a bunch on my Reading Teacher channel on YouTube site. So see if you like it, go ahead and click subscribe. I hope I see you soon.